Wolf from the Wolf's Den here with the answer to this month's poll question, which was about humidity. So I'm in my baseball gear today because the humidity season and baseball season kind of go hand in hand, and we're in the beginning of baseball, and I'm in my Bryce Harper jersey uh, supporting the local Phillies team. However, uh, humidity is a problem as the weather gets a little bit warmer. Um, it actually creates almost an, an undesirable finish in the coating where it might look a little milky. Um, the coating would still function, but it just doesn't pass the eye test. And there are ways to combat humidity, but the, uh, the question was about what is one way to, that you cannot use to combat humidity, and that answer actually was to add reducer or thinner. If you do that, you actually might make the situation worse, um, especially with our coatings that have NMP in them, which will actually draw the moisture from the air. So there are some things that coders can do to try to combat humidity, not super expensive, uh, some of those ideas would be to preheat the part before applying the coating. So you can preheat the pieces to about 150, 175 degrees and actually use some of that heat to uh, evaporate the water that might have been uh, acquired from the air. Uh, another thing, you could change the hours of the day when you do Teflon application. You could choose to go early morning or later in the evening uh, because the humidity may be down at those times because in the middle of the day is when it's at its worst. Uh, one thing we do notice is sometimes coders, because it's warm in the shop, they have their bay doors wide open. Well, that's actually bringing humidity in, so perhaps you want to keep those bay doors closed. Uh, one other thing that you could do, make a large investment, is to try to control the humidity a little bit more in the shop with uh, you know, some kind of application. But anyway, those are common questions we get. Those questions start picking up at this time of the year. We'd love to hear from you. You reach out to us via phone, email, or view us on social. We'd love to hear your questions. Thank you.